uh, this is your standard NVR. Go to the main menu, settings, event, alarm, local alarm, one, normally open. It's going to record the channel. Um, do we don't? Do we have to have an alarm upload set? I don't know if we do or don't. Doesn't matter. Anyway, that's alarm input one, which we have connected to this switch here, and we have the buzzer turned on on that. So when I throw this switch, it creates an event with an external alarm. Now, this is the. Gosh, pause it for a second. We're going to run Smart PSS. This is version 1.12.1. I'm going to import the site, the recorder that we have the alarm created on. Save. Go to live view. Log in. Those are the cameras at that site. Close the live view out. We're going to go to alarm config. We're going to add an alarm. The name of this alarm is going to be name. The description is going to be description. The alarm type is an external alarm from our DVR. Alarm input one. Next. The alarm link is going to be tied to the video from camera one. We're going to have it record on this PC. Uh, we'll just leave everything at default. It's going to happen always. Now, on our home page, when we go to alarms, the video link is the mainstream. This is all default settings. And on an external alarm, it's going to play this external alarm. that sound. So we didn't change any of that settings. We just created this alarm. Alarm. As you see, when I throw the switch on the recorder, it does trigger the alarm. We get a pop-up. It tells us everything we need to know. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to go to my alarm page. There's two issues here. First issue is the fact that the alarm occurred is valuable information. The fact that it disappeared is irrelevant. So if there's a way that you can create a setting to disable showing up or to filter so we never see the alarm disappear because that does not matter to the customer. Um, when you click display link video all it does is it shows you the live video from the alarm that occurred. That's that's not important to us either. If, so I'm the operator, I sit here, the alarm happens I get a pop-up on my screen it shows me live video I'm at the bathroom right now so I come back in five minutes this video is gone this window is up it shows me the name of the DVR the IP address or the, the description of the DVR alarm in one that doesn't tell me a whole lot of anything it would be nice instead of saying alarm in one if it showed me a name or a description because I created this alarm here and there's a name and a description I need more than just alarm in one to show up on there so that the operator of the computer knows what that alarm meant all I have is external alarm one if I have 16 alarms at one site alarm 2, alarm 8, 16 does not help me now let's say that I want to go and I have thir this, this customer has 13 different recorders at 13 locations and they're all sending alarms to this system. When they send their alarms to this system and the operator is, like I said, at the bathroom or just away for a couple minutes and he comes back, he has no way of knowing what were those alarms. Because I go to alarm, all it says is external alarm happened at this site, I have no way of knowing where the video is attached to that alarm. The only way I can do that is to open up the log, go to alarm, all, all devices, start time, end time, 
search, now I see, and this is another instance of who cares when it disappeared because that doesn't tell me any information. External alarm occurred on this device name, channel, doesn't tell me anything about what which motion sensor went off. However, when the alarm occurs, I can then click over here and play the video associated with that alarm. That is too many steps for an operator to find out what just happened 15 seconds ago while he was at the bathroom. This link over here needs to be on this page. An alarm occurs, it records a video to the system, that link needs to be right here. This auto refreshes every time an alarm occurs, it goes next in line. So if the operator just has this alarm page opened up on one window or one monitor of the computer, he can see when the alarms came in. He doesn't know what the alarm is, he knows it's alarm in one. This channel needs to be a description, which you can create when you create the alarm, and right here needs to be a link to play the recorded video associated with this alarm.